Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. Today we use our favorite beverage coffee to make some cool patterned paper for our journals and craft projects. I will show you 10 different ways to create to create some more interesting patterned paper and looks beside the normal aged look of some simple coffee dyed paper. So let's get into it. But first, let's grab a coffee to drink while crafting. Now on to the stuff we need for today's DIY. Obviously, we will need some instant coffee, a jar or a mug with some hot water, a square wooden stick, a straw, a sponge, some dish soap, some salt, some rice and obviously some white paper as our base to start off with. The first step has to be to mix the coffee. I made sure to create an extra dark concentrated mixture. For the first pattern we pour the coffee onto the paper and add some salt. Then we have to set it aside to do its magic while drying. The salt creates a fine dotted pattern. Next we sprinkle some rice onto a coffee soaked paper and let it dry for a more soft pattern with some larger speckles. Now onto my favorite pattern paper I made in this batch, the checkered one. I did dip a square wooden stick into the coffee and used it as a stamp to create a pattern. This was definitely the most time consuming pattern I made in this video, but I must say I love the outcome the most. For the next pattern we do a more organic looking attempt by using just a normal sponge to dab the coffee onto the page. Make sure to start with the dry paper here, otherwise the coffee would spread and the pattern would get lost. The following pattern is created by adding some plastic film onto the wet coffee and create some wrinkles in the film. Then let it dry before removing the film again. Now on to two different patterns you can create with a fork. Dip the fork into the coffee and create this checkered pattern with it. Or create the absolute wild opposite by moving the fork in crisscross motions all over the page for a wild line pattern.
Now we will use the straw to create some patterns. First, let's use the straw to move the coffee over the page by blowing onto it to create some organic looking shapes like little, I don't know, abstract animals kind of. For the next pattern, we first need to add the dish soap to the coffee. Then blow some bubbles into the coffee and move the paper over the bottles to create a mark on the paper. This step we repeat until we are satisfied with the pattern on the paper. It creates a fine bubble pattern. I really like this one as well. The final coffee pattern we create today is a little bit of an explosion from the middle of the page. I dumped some coffee in the middle and then sprinkled everything with some dry instant coffee and let it soak into the page while drying. Now you got a bunch of patterned paper for your journals and other creative projects. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a thumbs up would make me really happy. And if you want to join me on my creative journey for more DIY and journaling tutorials, hit the subscribe button down below. Or check out my other DIY and journaling videos on my channel for more inspiration and ideas.